Welcome, my name is Matt, or to be 34, and today I'll be showing you how to make a free logo using Pixlr E, which is an online editing software. It is available for free online that requires no downloads. So first off, head to the website pixlr.com e. That will be the first link in the description. Once you are at the website, you can hit create new, then create a document that's 1000 by 1000. Name it something. This can be unchecked if you want, and then hit create. So once you have opened the document, you are then going to want to create a gradient. So I'm going to hit G to get to the gradient tool and then select layer one. If G didn't work for some reason, you could just click the gradient tool. Look for a gradient that looks good. I'm going to select this orange one and then drag from the left to the right. You can just keep on dragging until you get something that looks good. To get out of that, I hit V or the arrange tool and then I clicked outside of the canvas. We can add another layer to make the background more textured. So I'm going to head to the shape tool. You can hit U or you can click this. And I'm going to drag from just outside to just below. So it covers the entire section. I'm going to change the fill to white. Click pattern and select this second option here. I'm going to change the angle to 90 degrees and increase the frequency by decreasing the scale. This is way too bright right now. So I'm going to turn the opacity down by right clicking this layer and turning down the transparency to something like 20. You can always change this later. So once I have those lines, I'm actually going to duplicate this layer by right clicking and hitting duplicate. Now I'm going to add another texture, which is going to be these X's. I'm going to increase the scale and then decrease the transparency to about eight and go back to the arrange tool. If you want, you can lock each of these layers by right clicking and hitting locked. This will prevent you from accidentally modifying them when you're working with the other layers. So next up is adding the font for the logo. The font we'll be using in this tutorial is going to be Dakota. To download this, just head to defont.com, hit download. You'll need to import it to Pixlr. You're going to want to find the location of the file and extract it. The file you're looking for inside of Dakota is Dakota.ttf. You're going to want to drag this out of the zip file or just extract the zip file and only focus on Dakota.ttf. Again, make sure that file is not in a zip file and it's separated by itself. Once you have that file isolated, head to the text tool and add a new layer. Click the font, hit add local font, find that .ttf file, and then just double click it to import it into Pixlr. So now the font has been added. And we have Dakota installed, so I'm just going to type Dakota with a capital T at the beginning and hit Arrange. As you can see, it's created an underscore beneath Dakota, which is what we want. I'm going to increase the size of this by just dragging that little rectangle at the bottom, or you could have just hit T to go to the text tool and change the size. And I'm going to change the fill to white. I'm also going to drag this layer to the top so it's above everything else. So now once you have Dakota typed out, head to the marquee tool and just line this up so it's going to be selecting just the underscore. So once you have this area selected where it's just the underscore and nothing else, hit control C and control V and it'll copy the underscore. Now I head it back to the arrange tool with V and then I delete the Dakota layer with delete and just leave it somewhere down here. Once we have this underscore created, I'm just gonna add this circle in real quick. Click the shape layer click circle, hold shift, and create a circle like so. Drag that to the top, go to the arrange tool, and now change the dimensions of that circle to 1000 by 1000. Now line it up with the center. This represents how your logo will be cropped if it's cropped into a circle. So I'm gonna change that transparency down so we can use that as reference. I'm gonna lock this and add a new text layer. I'm gonna type the first letter of my logo, drag this again to the very top so it's priority when being selected and I'm going to increase the size by zooming out. Control zero to zoom back in. I think something like 700 should be a good size. Rotate this letter very slightly. I'm going to go back to the text tool with T and then I'm going to add a slight gradient. So I'm going to click that first stopper and bring it up to white. Click the next stopper, bring it up to a gray. So once selected, I'm going to change this direction to 296, so it comes from the bottom right to the top left. You can move this around if you want there to be more white or more gray. Now I'm going to go back to the text layer, make sure the D is selected, add a style, shadow, 
and add a blur. I'm actually going to unselect that circle. Now I'm going to duplicate this D by right clicking, duplicating, and either triple clicking that or by just going to edit, changing this to a B. Drag this B to somewhere over here. This is a size 343. I'm going to drag the B below D. So head back to the text tool, fill, control zero to center. If you try to adjust a layer, but it's adjusting the one above it, you can either move that layer to the top temporarily to adjust it, or you can just lock that other layer. So to adjust this, I'm just gonna move this to the top so it's not interfering with anything else. First, I'm actually gonna turn it, and then to not maintain that, I'm gonna hold shift and drag it like so, so it's more of a longer underscore. Now to line up everything with the background, I'm gonna reactivate that circle, hold shift, and select these other two layers. So I'm gonna line this up. Don't worry about the purple lines that appear. So something like that looks good. With everything selected, you could just zoom out and then just resize it like so. Now I'm gonna uncheck that template layer again, and we're left with the D, the B, and the underscore. You could add a drop shadow if you wanted to, to the underscore by going to filter, then drop shadow. If you want to make any adjustments, you can control S and save it as a PXZ document, which will allow you to edit it in the future in Pixlr. I'm just going to download this as a JPEG, increase the quality to 100 and hit download. I'm going to make a tutorial on how to make a free banner in Pixlr for YouTube, and that will be using a very similar style to the logo we've used in this tutorial. So if you want to check that out, click the end screen or click the card on screen now, and that'll take you to the tutorial on how to make a banner in a similar style as this logo. Anyway, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you guys next time.